Hi, and welcome to a comparison between the new Twitter app for iPad and Twitterific for iPad. Um, I'm just going to run you through some of the some of the features, the, some of the differentiating features, and yeah, you can make your own decision. So let's start the iPad. Okay, and the first one we're going to look at today is the official Twitter app, uh, which was made by the people who used to make Tweety 2 for the iPhone and now make the official Twitter app. So, okay, here we have uh, the Twitter app. As you can see on uh, the left-hand side, you have timeline, uh, mentions, lists, messages, profile, and search. Down here at the bottom, you can uh, write a new uh, tweet here and settings there. The first thing you'll notice is that the your Twitter stream is right in the middle. It takes front and center. But also, the, there's a big gap here. Uh, the sim simple reason for why that gap's there is, well, I'll show you. Uh, so say if we click on one that has a link, so this one from the iOS Insider. Wait for it to load. And basically it loads right, right inside. Now the, what the really nice feature about this is, you can uh, zoom in with the pinch scroll up and down, and it's basically completely interactive. So say, if you wanted to click on a link, um, click on a link there, and it will load, just like a, as a built-in built -in browser. And the really cool thing about this is you can just swipe to get rid of it, and then just carry on as you were, and click on another one. And then that one, that one will load up as well. So it's all based on a panel system. Uh, which is really, really nice aesthetically. Um, yeah, it's a really nice looking app. It's very nicely done. It's, it's similar in style to the Flipboard app. Um, but yeah, so also another uh, neat feature is if you want to um, see more about a certain person, so on this one, say uh, Macworld, you just pinch, pinch open, and you get information on that person. So their recent tweets, etc. And it'll load up in another panel. So it's a really, really nice app. Very intuitive. And yeah, so that's a brief look at, at that app. There are, of course, there are more things you can see. It's re it's just really, really nice. You have to you have to use it to get a feel for it. So that's the Twitter app, the official Twitter app, which is free. Okay, now we're going to have a look at Twitterific for the iPad. Now, Twitterific, Twitterific has recently updated to version 3. Um, it's been around uh, on the iPad pretty much since the beginning, whereas the, Twitter, Twitter, the official Twitter app came out this week. Uh, so let's go and load up Twitterific, if I can find it. There we go. Okay, so... We're into Twif uh, Twitterific now. I've been on this one in a while because I've been using Twitter. So let's get right, right up to the top. Okay. Um, yeah. So an advantage to this to the Twitterific app is that you have the trends right at the side. On the Twitter app, you have to go to search and then they're there. Here, they're right at the right at the side, which is really handy to get uh, get the latest info on what's going on. Um, Again, you have mentions, messages, favorites on the side. If you want to go into settings, you tap on account. There, of course, you can upgrade Twitterific to um, uh, to Twitterific Pro, which is ba it's exactly the same. It's just it's just there's no ads, which you can which are usually up the top. There you go. Um, so yes, on this one, it maybe not as flashy, but it's just as functional. Uh, you can reply to tweets. Well, you reply, direct message, retweet, retweet with a comment. You can make uh, star it as a favorite. If you tap on a link on this one, it's a bit, it's a bit more clunky. It's not as flash. It'll still do the same job, but this loads loads up the actual web page on separately. As you can see. So on that basis, it's not, it's not as. Um, 
It's not as helpful because you don't really want to be leaving. Well, you're not leaving the app, but you feel like you're leaving the app. If you want to start, if you want to write a new tweet, it's here at the top, and you get a nice full keyboard there. Upload photos. Got your character count up there. Uh, if you want to shorten the link, that's a very help, uh, helpful feature when sharing news with someone else or a cool website you found. Um, here is your profile, so your recent tweets, favorite tweets. If you want to just look at someone who you're following, just tap on following, and they're all there. Then you just tap on one, and th th it's there. Would be nice if it was on a larger scale, but yes. So that's the Twitterific app in a nutshell. Um, so to sum up, I personally use the Twitter app purely because I find it's the best balance between functionality and style. And let's face it, if you bought an iPad, part of you thinks that you're going to look cool with an iPad, so you may as well go to the max with it. It does have some limitations. Um, well, not so, not so much limitations, but there are, there is room for improvement. Um, but overall, I just feel, feel it's the, uh, it's uh, the better choice at the moment. Um, hopefully, in in time, there'll be a way to uh, view the um, trending topics. See, there you go. That's the trending topics. Um, for it to be more more front and center, you can. You can view it as you can see, but it's just not as prominent. So yes, that's that is Twitter versus Twitterific, and in my opinion, Twitter wins. <laughs>